welcome to another episode of Jeremy Munson Outdoors. It's been a while since I've been able to fish. I never went last weekend because it was below zero and I was pretty sick. I've been sick for almost over a week. You can probably tell it a little bit in my coarse voice, but it is going to be a beautiful day today. It's supposed to get up to 31 and all week it's been below zero and actually it was just recently the low was minus 26. As I look around, it looks like there is absolutely nobody else on this lake, which means I get it all to myself to search. I'm going to be in harvest mode today. I'm going to try to keep some uh, panfish for a good sized meal. Otherwise, please hit that like button. Please subscribe to the channel. I'd really, really appreciate it. The goal by the end of ice season is 500. We are almost there, almost. We just keep. It keeps growing each and every day and it's really exciting for me to see and I just I can't thank you guys enough for for helping me do that and uh yeah let's get after it I'm I'm anxious to fish it's exciting it's supposed to be sunny just a lovely day out peaceful calm here we go let's go it looks like there's some tracks out here but Honestly, there's zero people on the lake right now. This is unbelievable. I love it when it's like this because it's just, it's pretty rare in today's society to get lakes to yourself and I enjoy that very much. You know what else I really love? That there is no slush out here anymore. Man. That is a relief. Much better. Oh, well, one thing nice is that, like I said, that slush is gone. That's a relief. Because, man, I honestly made fishing kind of suck. But uh, I just drilled five holes. I'm going to go poke around with this, the Garmin Live Scope with the Summit setup. Take a little peek at this baby, their new shuttle that they have in stock now again. Thing looks awesome. Pretty high quality, durable, I love it. And then the 24 inch to 60 inch ice pole and I got a neoprene uh, cover off of Amazon. So, first hole is over here. Going to get this all set up and see if there's any fish around. Ah, uh, yeah, this is the stuff that gets a guy excited. Look at all, <laughs> that is all fish right there. See this pointing that way? That means they are about 40 feet to my diagonal right. Being that I'm pretty sure that those are crappies, I'm going to start with the fish layer from Vexen with the pink tungsten toad and glow nymph. We'll see. See what happens right away. Um, yeah. They would call that Stack City. <laughs> that is all fish right there. Here we go. Pink tungsten toad. Glow nymph. First drop. 
First drop in two weeks. Man, does it feel good. Let's see if we can get, holy moly, there's a bunch coming already. <laughs> we got a fish on, baby. <laughs> I shouldn't have left the train to drag up. That is a beautiful, beautiful crappie. Perfect size eater. Look at this thing. <laughs> Doesn't get much better. Here comes one. He's all excited. Just, oh. Ooh. It is game on, boys and girls. <clears throat> I mean, this one's a borderliner. This one, I could keep it, but not yet. There's so many fish down there. We're not gonna keep ones like this, but that one's, that one's probably a nine incher. Honestly, I would keep it, but you saw that screen. You saw many fish are down there. And I got till dark to fish. So we're gonna enjoy it. Oh, so that's one thing that I just, what I don't like about Northerns being around. Set up on a big school and they just clear out because they chase all the panfish away. And you guys know by watching my videos, I love panfish. I'm gonna try it waxy in the Green eyed demon jig. I've caught some big crappies on this this year so far, so see if see if we can get it to work again. <laughs> this looked like one of the bigger ones. So hopefully it's not a disappointment. It feels decent, but I just don't want to get stuck on the transducer. Oh yeah, that one's a keeper. Not as good as the first one, but not bad. I don't know, Fry. Got another one to commit. That one wasn't as big. I'm gonna try something different that I haven't done yet this year little uh wrap rip and wrap we'll see uh see if we can coax some bigger ones to bite I haven't tried it yet but I figure there's so many and a lot of small ones that what's what's it gonna hurt see this is where the live scope comes into play I put that down there and all the fish the school went like this well, I just had my nicest one of the day get off because it got caught in the transducer. And then I dropped it again and had this one hit. Good eater. We'll take it. Frying pan she goes. Gotta get back down there because there are fish all over. Probably the only thing <laughs> that I don't like about live scopes is this transducer setup because of that fact. But just gotta you just gotta deal with it Jeez, here fired up now <laughs> they're not gigantic but they're just great size eaters perfect size eaters you got another one One's battling, but I think it's got on the deuce here. It's gotta be. Yep. I'll just get that out for a second. Oh yeah. Thankfully that I did. Because this one is a nice one. Oh baby. <laughs> 
Woo! Another one for the frying pan. Put the pole back in. Let's get some more, huh? Here we go. We're up to five keepers. I just had two of them that were both going after it, and then this one just came and overtook the other one. Oh, that's a borderliner. That's a borderliner. We'll toss that one back, huh? Let's see. We're keeping it. We're keeping it. It's a harvest day. I'll be more picky on the the next four that I keep. Oh, turn around. Come on. Do it again. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, baby. <clears throat> Stay on there. Stay on. Stay on. Stay on. Stay on. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Another yummy, yummy crappie. Boom! Papers, I was trying to put my glove on. <laughs> trying to put my glove on, had to pull the transducer out. Oh yeah, I'll take that one. This one hammered it. Another really good size keeper. This one definitely was like, yeah, I'm going to take the bait. You get little ones. Get out of the way. Solid size eater. Boom. I love it. I was battling this one for a while. Just so I could hit record. <clears throat> it's not a bad one. It's a decent fighter, but it's also deceiving because I just never know if no, 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 no. <laughs> Best one of the day, guys. Best one of the day. Oh. <laughs> there's a little, there's a beauty. We like those. A little bit of a pot belly. Swallowed it though, so. It's bleeding pretty good. All right. It's another nice keeper. Still a lot down there. Let's keep getting after it. There, I was playing with the playing with them. I wanted this one to bite because it looked a little bigger than the other one, and it was. Now we're getting some pretty good size ones. It's got a little bit of lighter color to it. Look at that beauty. <laughs> the one for the frying pan. One more. Ah, oh, we have another fish on. <laughs> oh, I just need I just need to quit going by the transducer so much so. <laughs> yeah. This one looks awesome. It's got a lot of blue in it. I don't know if the camera's gonna be able to pick it up, but here, I'll dip it. <laughs> Look at this. Look at, Look at how blue it is on the top there. <sighs> that is a beauty! Guess what? We're at our limit. Now we're just fishing to see if we can get a tank or a toad. Picking up steam. I got it. Oh my goodness, I'm not risking. This one looks. Shoot. Come on. No. You gotta be kidding me. No. no! How the heck? <laughs> the line, my fishing line, was between the transducer and the cord. How does that happen? <sighs> Boy, does that suck. <laughs> Eight feet to 
to my right, this one came flying in. And it is a really nice feeder size. I can't believe how it's like it put on its jets. It just. <laughs> No more keeping. See you bye. We're gonna get into the to the vortex zone where they got about four or five of them come flying because they just battle for it. <laughs> I'm telling you, they are fired up now. <clears throat> oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's for the kids. For the kids. This crappy haven. Well, as you saw that I caught my limit already, so I have some friends actually coming out here to join me, so probably won't record as much. Only way I will is if uh, I end up catching a pretty, pretty nice one. Awesome day I just got done uh, packing up all the stuff anytime you can get out onto the ice and uh, get some fishing in it's good but it's even better when the temps are nice there's no slush and when you got some good company with you can't ask for much more so uh, yeah I'm gonna go home and clean some fish I guess never caught a big bluegill today but I caught a lot of nice sized crappies and they're gonna taste yummy please remember to hit the subscribe button reminder 500 subscribers by the end of ice season we're almost there and we got at least a month of month or two of ice season left so i'm confident that we're gonna get there but i just always have to ask thank you very much for those who have and uh as always thanks for tuning in to jeremy munson outdoors we'll see you next time Peace. See ya.